In how many rounds, Tyson? Quick time, quick fashion. Let's go. So get your beers and get in your seat quite early. Uh, like my trainer Sugar Hill says, but just bang, get it over with. Now, let's talk about Sugar for a minute. You've had extended time now to prepare and work with him. How good was it for you guys to have a little bit, albeit because of COVID, but once you were back in the gym, to just work on that rapport even more and on that power, like he said? Yeah, it's been good, you know. We've had such a long time in the gym together. Um, we've been on holidays, we've hung out. We've done so much stuff, uh, Christine. It's been unbelievable. We chilled out in Vegas for quite a few months. We've been training the full time. Um, not at the fights, unfortunately, but COVID fucked up the uh, world, so. What do you make of everything, although you don't pay attention to it, you've been asked about it time and time again, about basically him not accepting the loss and there being a, a handful of other reasons about why you could have possibly won that fight. What do you What do you say, what do you think about that mental fortitude to not actually accept what happened in the last fight? It just shows you that, um, I'm living in Wilder's mind, rent-free, the whole time, two years. Every, t every time he looks in the mirror, he sees Tyson Fury. Every time he goes to bed, before he closes his eyes at night, he sees a Gypsy King. And everything he wakes up and thinks about in the morning, he thinks of Tyson Fury. Even when he goes to sleep at night with his missus, he's thinking of Tyson Fury. You know, it's, uh, it's crazy. It must be crazy to be obsessed with a, with a man like me so much in his life that crazy just it's just crazy but you know i've not really made too much of what he says because this time i'm going to put a knuckle duster on each hand and then i'm going to go into the fight i might even put double knuckle duster a couple egg weights extra yeah yeah, yeah. maybe or maybe I even bring like a steel baseball bat into the ring maybe in my trousers or something who knows yeah. can't tell can't tell with the gypsy king i'm magic i'm like houdini let's go champ yeah. let's go champ yeah. much of you, you've said that this is not round one of the third fight, but instead round 20. For those people that were under a rock or have not watched either of the two fights or are still even on the fence about coming out to Las Vegas and joining us, what can they expect from the Gypsy King in round 20 of this third fight? We're just going to get straight on the front foot, straight at him and start trading straight away from round one. You know, Wilder's the biggest puncher in the history of our sport. Um, but I've got the biggest balls in the history of our sport, as I've proved many, many times. Um, it's going to be exciting, you know. Wilder's a dynamite puncher, and, you know, as we've seen over the last few months, we've seen the heavyweight landscape change so much. Um, but I'm still on form, I'm still doing what I've got to do, and I'm the only undefeated world heavyweight champion left. The only one standing. Crazy. I, I remember speaking to, this is a little, a little bit of a throwback, but uh, Andy Lee after he fought Julio Cesar Chavez Jr. And he said, when, Cha when I hit Chavez Jr. with the hardest punch that I could hit him with, and he took it on the chin and continued to come forward, I was mentally broken in that fight. I knew from that point on, it was over. You took two huge right hands from Deontay Wilder in the second fight. He floored you twice in the first fight and you got back up what does that do to a fighter mentally when you know you've taken pretty much everything he's had to offer and still won the fight you know i've never experienced it because i've never actually um someone's never done that to me but wilder's still still thinking about what happened in 2018 how the fuck did he get up in round 12 after being knocked out it's like you hit a guy with your best shot you knock him out he gets back up gets back into you and then does exactly what he says he's going to do in the rematch um, and takes me out, you know, so there's not much I can say, I'm not here to slate Deontay Wilder, he is what he is. Oh, now? <laughs> Honestly, I think the guy's a real piece of shit, he's a real piece of work and nobody or nothing will ever change my mind. When we was first going to fight, I thought he was a decent man, like a family man, you know, doing it for his kids and all that, but now I know he's a real piece of garbage, piece of rubbish. Um, and I'm going to knock him spark out on Saturday night and I cannot yeah. wait to get him in that ring and give him a good hiding for sure. I might even take it slow with him. I might take it slow and punish him, make him say no mas. Okay, a little, a little no mas in there. All right, we're going to open it up for the fans, um, actually for the media to ask some questions. I know, come over here. <laughs> Shall we dance, Tyson? Uh, oh, oh, I, I would love to dance. Where's the DJ? Hit the music! 